Uh, she called for help. Hello, I'm hungover. <laughs> I look like I've just been pulled through a hedge. <laughs> a very beautiful hedge. <laughs> I'm not on my own today. I'm with one of my bestest girls ever in the whole wide world. Oh, my hello. twinkle. We used to get called twins, but now we don't because I got orange hair and she's got blonde hair. <laughs> but when and then we made Colin. He's, he's we made him. <laughs> we shacked him. We made Colin. <laughs> we made a sausage dog. We made a sausage dog. We've got ginger eyebrows. Sausage. Yeah, he's actually match child. I put up on my story today, ask questions. I can't really move in this jumpsuit. I should have taken it off. <laughs> Just got to make it. How far does it go down? Like, oh, how far do you want it to go down? <laughs> Best advice for a sexy date? Oh, Even just life. nothing. Heels. You're wearing nothing. No, is it? Don't go feel naked. Good to wear nothing. Oh, oh, on the date. On the date. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got the question from the website. It's not juicy, but can you speak in Spanish at least a little bit? Mm. Una saca puntas. <laughs> I think it's a pencil case. Pencil case. I think it's a saca puntas. Una saca puntas. I just spat all over myself. You... <laughs> how to spice things up in bed with your partner and how to let them know you want to spice it up. Spice it up your life, everybody. Spice it up. Spice it up. I know what you're about to do. Twin. <laughs> Sorry, Matt, she's let it out of the bag. Imagine if Matt and I just sung. When to become one, I need some love. <laughs> Sorry to our fathers. No, we're not gonna go too mad. No. It's like a workout, like, you always are, oh, getting, to, getting to the gym is the hardest bit. Mm. And then actually when you've done it, you feel incredible. Yeah, exactly. That's it's so like, true. It is, because yeah. like, you're lying in bed, you're like, oh, I could just go to sleep now, but, you remember how good that connection is between you both after you've done it, especially in a long-term relationship. Yes. This is something I think quite a lot of couples struggle with. Yeah, you go As through periods. To keep it, yeah, to kind of keep it going. I think when you're tired, you're mm. stressed. So I think it's really important to be like, right, tonight is your night. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> it's about surprising them and keeping on Surprise, their- Surprise, mother- <laughs> <laughs> Colin was like, what? Just having a bit of confidence, yeah. and like it, you could literally be wearing like the worst thing, but if you're confident in yourself and you like you feel good, this aura just comes over you, yeah, doesn't it? Definitely. And the guys are just like, oh my yeah, god, you're amazing. This? Yeah, I just yeah. burped sausages. <laughs> Vegan sausages. Vegan sausage. Talking about sausage. <laughs> <laughs> it's about vegan sausage. <laughs> Matt's is not vegan. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of pressure on sex and like it having to be amazing every yeah. single time, like or having to do it. And even when you're in a relationship, being like, I've, we've got to do it to keep the spark, whatever. Like, take that pressure off. And you're so right. When I'm tired, I'm like, I turn around and I'm like, no. I think that's, and that's absolutely fine as well. I think when people are stressed, like, or they are super tired, and it's no way to like just for the sake of it. It's yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You feel like you have to do it, and then if they're not, people are like, oh god, does that mean our relationship's going down? Yeah. Like, and then it gets cool. into your head. So I got married in September. <laughs> Get that ring out, honey. Yes, she did, and it was a beautiful wedding. And Tessa's husband is amazing. Shout out, Adam. Adam, he's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Adam, hello? <laughs> Adam! <laughs> Adam actually has got, I love him so much, but his feet are the ugliest. Oh, no. them later. My oh. mum split up with someone because how awful their feet were. Did she? she broke up with them because she saw their feet and she was like, nah, oh. it wasn't my dad's. Oh, um, <laughs> imagine. Okay. Socks all the time, please. <laughs> it was four years ago, we went on our first date. Um, right guy, wrong time. Yeah. And. Went on a few dates, just I think other relationships had just broken, you know, had just recently broken up from them. She went out with some assholes. I hope they watch this. Yeah, me too. Shout out to yeah, the assholes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> some nasty men, which I think we all have to do, don't we? Yeah, you've got to go through it. So then realise the good ones as well. I'm so glad that when I did re meet him, I was not the person that I was back then. And he was just, and then we met on a night out again randomly from. I think seeing him again, I just knew he was gonna be my husband. I can't, believe, uh, I literally cannot believe you're married. Every time, like I say, and I'm like, oh yeah, my best friend's hu husband. No, like it's still really it's weird. So old, isn't it? No, 
No, not old. I think I think there's like for women there's such a time pressure on everything. Mm. There's, there's a really funny quote that I saw today. When you're making <laughs> popcorn, like the the popcorn kernels are popping at all different times, aren't they? Yeah. It's like your group of girls, like you're all going to be popping at so different true. times. What it's a good so, analogy. I know. I was like. I love the popcorn. Like, it took my dad 10 years to propose to my mum and Matt is always like, oh, I love your dad so much, I respect him. I'm like, I will not be here yeah. in 10 years, mate, <laughs> honestly. I think my mum and dad were the same as well. Were they? For ages, but then they did meet when they were super young. So I yeah, guess well, they Yeah, well, mine did. My mum was 18. So yeah. how do you deal with breakups? To start with, it's so raw mm -hmm. and you're kind of like, I've made the wrong decision, I've made the right decision, why didn't I do this ages ago? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm never gonna get over him. Like, there are so many emotions yeah. that just attack you when Definitely. you least expect it. I feel like every single relationship we've been through have like brought us to Matt and Adam. Surrounding yourself with your friends, people that make you happy, people that are positive, mm -hmm. and people that will just listen instead of be like, Oh, but he was a dick. You just kind of want someone just to listen to you instead of being like, get over him. I have done something before with a relationship and actually a friendship that kind of ended where like I wrote their name and I wrote loads of memories of us down onto a piece of paper and then I like scribbled it out and it was so nice just like scribbling it out. Like then I literally like, like scrunched the paper and chucked it in the bin I was like, Oh, it's hard giving advice because I'm always one to try and like give advice, aren't yeah. I? But then actually for breakups, it's so hard because you never ever knew their relationship as well as they did. Mm. So sometimes exactly. I just sit and listen. And as well with friends, it's always like, I think there's always two sides to every story, mm. but then with friends, you only have to hear the one. Yeah. So you only hear their side, don't you? And so, you're always like, if they've done something wrong, yeah. you're like, I hate them. Yeah. And then if they get back together, you're like, <laughs> I, know. I, know. I try and always think, if I give friends advice, to think, if, especially ones I know really well, to kind of what it would be like from their partners so and what yeah. they would actually be saying, mm. to try and help show, well, maybe it's come from that. Because I think so many problems with breakups is that there's just like lack of communication, isn't yeah. there? Friends that go back to the same guy. Mm. It's same like, come type. on. It's, like, it's the same as your ex and your ex and your ex. And like with types, I would always be that person that was like, I don't have a type. But honestly, if you went through all my ex-boyfriends and now I'm at Matt, I mean, orange was always my favorite color. <laughs> um, thoughts on people's assumptions that the minute you're married, the next thing is babies. That's so true, especially mm. on social media, you literally get all the time, like, when are you having a baby? Why, why are you not pregnant yet? And the scariest thing in life for me, my biggest fear is not being able to have children because I want them so bad. Mm. And I am so sorry to anyone out there that has had troubles conceiving or can't have children. I honestly, I don't even know. I can't yeah. imagine you are, that. You are literally <sighs> children baby obsessed mad i just love them like i feel like i was put on this earth to be a mummy and i've calmed down a bit in the in like the past six months because i was like matt's gonna run away did you, did you see on this one the other day there, had, there was one that was like a family of 45. i saw yeah. it wasn't 45 oh, it was okay. it looked like 45. <laughs> <laughs> like a small photo <laughs> <laughs> wide lens to get them all in <laughs> obviously you're very maternal and you know you you are probably gonna have the 25 children but for some people as well they don't want to have it and they're like well why don't i want to have exactly. it exactly and like and at, yeah exactly it and, yeah. and adam and i have said like obviously now we're married like it we, we do obviously want a family and when it happens it happens mm. and it will happen at the right time i could not <laughs> go through a pregnancy without twins so if i get pregnant in a few weeks does that mean then you're going to have to do it <laughs> let's get shagging tonight <laughs> But I think it's just like a very uh, personal thing. And I think if you are being asked it a lot, you just be like, yeah. oh, we're just doing it in our own time. Yeah, exactly. And I think don't ever put pressure on yourself. No. Again, there's no right time to get married, no right time to get engaged, there's no right time to have kids. It's just exactly whenever it whenever it fits with your life. Do you prefer waxing or shaving? Shaving. Or natural. Ou natural? Or uh, natural. natural. <laughs> I shave down like this, as in I don't shave up because it like. See the lawnmower, you know those like you do strips. <laughs> yeah. Literally one down and one up. Yeah. <laughs> and then Tess gets out her head trimmer. 
Oh my god. So I'm a waxer and I don't actually get You're that. You're a waxer? No! <laughs> I just lied to you. I'm a shaver. I'm a shaver and I'm a proud shaver because yeah. it doesn't actually affect me. I've done waxing once and I cry. So I'm a shaver, not necessarily about directions, but you, um, don't, what, you don't, <laughs> you don't follow my directions. I gave you a manual. Every, day, every time I'm in the shadow, yeah. you can give you oh, a right. lawn mowing. Like, <laughs> Honestly, if you haven't shaved downwards, shave downwards. Oh, I'm really hot. I'm going to take this off. Okay, take I it think off. it's the last. Don't wax as well. It's just the whole waxing was very oh, stressful. Oh, it's horrible. So many people. My don't my, like, my my whole legs were like out wide. Like, yeah. She saw I had for breakfast. How, how did she go up? <laughs> <laughs> You're not waxing my insides, yeah. you. My womb. <laughs> We've been through so much together, and even though it's only been what five, I say five six years. I don't think it was six. I think I was 20. Yeah, it must, must be coming up to six. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah, for watching. Thank you so much. Thank you you so love you so much. I love you. You're the best. I'm so lucky to have a best friend like you. That was such an awkward cuddle because I can't. <laughs> I can't. Where's Colin? Colin's like a bed up. Oh. Colin. Hello. Hello. Are you no, right now? now? You say hello. <laughs> say hello. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Breastfeeding. Oh, why did you have to say that?